Hey, this is Mr. Maher. I'm trying to make a quick video that explains alpha and beta emission or decay. And this is um, right after that we talked about alpha emission in class. So uh, we haven't yet talked about beta decay in class or beta emission in class, same thing. So I want to try to, uh, if you do watch this video before <laughs> we talk about in class, you'll get a little bit of a preview of what we're going to do. So we saw all we saw all of this stuff in, in class. So alpha emission, we talked about uh, right after the warm up, we talked about how um, you have carbon that's uh, just sitting there and, and if carbon were to release an alpha particle it would turn into or transmutate into beryllium that's what would happen with carbon and uh, keep in mind all these numbers how the, everything's moving 6 to 4 12 to 8 and that makes sense because two protons are released with the alpha particle and uh, two neutrons are also released that's a total of four units so 12 to 8 that's 12 minus 4 is 8, 6 minus 2 is 4. Just keep track of your atomic number and your atomic mass, and it makes sense. It does make sense. So this is your basic alpha emission, which is the easiest and probably the most important emission to understand when it comes to these types of radiation. Now, I got a lot of questions from students saying they didn't really understand beta emission either, or the other two, which we'll talk about when we come back after Thanksgiving break. So I wanted to really quick go over beta emission. So beta emission here, um, I'm using the same thing. We're starting with carbon. And let me uh, set this up here. We're starting with carbon. And again, carbon, just, you can just count these up. One, two, and, and still, this blue circles are protons, red circles are neutrons. So one, two, three, four, five, six, that's six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. So its atomic mass is 12. All right, so if carbon were to undergo beta emission, which the uh, equation in our books that show beta emission goes something like this. It's N, zero, one, to make P, one, one, plus negative one, zero, beta. And, I mean, the first time you see that equation, you might say to yourself, wow, I, I don't even know what that is. But once you watch this video, or once, once we break this all down, it really makes sense. It all makes sense. So carbon, if, if carbon were to undergo beta emission, in the book it says basically beta emission is uh, an electron is emitted from the nucleus. So down here I draw a little electron. And the electron that will be emitted as it goes through this decay. So it's going to decay or emit th this uh, electron as it goes through this process. And if you just take a look at what happens here, so I'm following the sequence, and basically releasing the electron, we know that happens, and everything else that happens is outlined here. We'll follow this one uh, subatomic part particle right here. Well, here it's a neutron. So this is a neutron, and this is the symbol for neutron. And over here, that same exact sum of particle becomes a proton. And then you have your electron released. And that's a symbol for the electron in this equation, in the beta emission equation. So what's all that's happening is that the neutron is actually turning into a proton, and in the process, a electron is released. So this, this, this looking at all this, you can you can summarize this. You can you can break it down like this. One neutron is equal to a proton plus an electron. That's a pretty simple way to break that down, and that's what beta emission does. Beta emission takes advantage of this equation, and while that neutron turns into a proton, an electron is released, and that's your nuclear radiation in this type of beta emission. That electron is your nuclear radiation in this nuclear reaction. That's pretty much it. Now the new element we have here, it's no longer carbon because we have a we have change in the atomic number. Once you change your protons, you're changing your atomic number. So our atomic number is now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven is nitrogen. Nitrogen is the only element with the atomic number of seven. 
its atomic mass is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12. 7, 12. So that's actually an isotope of nitrogen, but that works. Some type of isotope of nitrogen, but we'll just go with it, just for an example. And that's it. That's beta emission.